Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carmen Maria. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, I think. Good. Did you have a good day? Yes. I have a good day. Excellent. Excellent. Good. What time do you start working? I'm working eight hours. Eight to four? Nine to five? I. What is your schedule? What is your schedule like? I, I work in 7.30 and 3.30. Okay. No. From 7.30 to 3.30. Yes. Okay, good. Nice. All right. So welcome back, people. What's today's date? What's today's date? Uh -huh. August 11th. Hi. August 11th, exactly. Um, what, what year? Wednesday. What year? 2021. 2021, that is correct. And what is the day? Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, so let's begin. Thank you for being punctual. Thank you for respecting the hour, the time. Um, do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? What did we talk about? We talk about uh, the uses of the past tense. Right. The different uses of the past tense. That is correct. How many uses did we mention yesterday? How many uses? Three. Three is correct. The first one is the function of the simple past itself to talk about finished activities. Second one, when you use the second conditional, if I had money, if I didn't have money that I owed, um, if I were in Australia, and then number three is when we talk about wishes. If I were there, if you paid, your bills, if she came today, I wish she came today, I wish you paid your bills. So the, the wishes uh, topic, any questions or comments? Hello, 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 hello. Questions or comments? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So yesterday we was talking about conditional, first conditional, second conditional. Right. Third conditional. Right. And what is the structure that we use when we talk about the second conditional? Uh -huh. Yes, people, were you paying attention yesterday? Is the verb had to be in the past. Right. So you when you're the, you uh -huh. the simple past or um, you use the if in, in case you you need it? Uh-huh. Right. So when we talk about the second conditional, it is necessary that the if clause is in the simple past structure, right? 
if you paid attention, if you didn't live in San Salvador, if you spoke three languages, if I went running every morning, so whenever you're using the second conditional, uh, you need to use the simple past tense structure. Questions or comments? No. No questions, no comments? Question, teacher. Yes, Carlos. No, no questions, teacher. Okay, good, good. All right, so yesterday, we finished the explanation of the final exam. Um, what part of the platform are you in? Did you finalize the, the platform? Good. I finished it, sir. Good. Isidro? Yes, I already done. Good. Aide? Yes, I finished, teacher. Krisha Melara? Me too, I finished. Gustavo Coreas? I have finished already. Mauricio Calderon? Yes, I do. Okay, you finished the platform too? Yes. Good, Car Carmen Maria? Yes, teacher, finish. Oh, okay, Claudia Linares? I finish. Francisco Guerrero? Yes, I do. Okay, you finished already. And Carlos Mesquita? Good evening. Uh, I did until the exam. I don't know if it's the finish there. Okay, uh, when you finish the platform, the, the platform tells you, the platform communicates you that you are finished. Did you receive any uh, messages from the platform? Uh, no, I did. I did until the, the exam the last week. And the message were, uh, yeah. solicitar certificado no okay. sé si ahí termina yeah. que decía solicitar that's, certificado that's the end that's the end when no, they no lo ask you todavía. okay when they <laughs> ask you to request your certificate that means that you have completed the the platform that's good so ah, okay. congratulations everybody all right so Thank um you. Remember, we only have three more classes. We have classes tomorrow, then Monday, and then Tuesday, and then we finish. All right, so. Um, so teacher. Yes, sir. Administrators, they are going to leave us uh, when the next level is going to come. Exactly. To start. Yeah, so what's today's date? Okay, 15, 16. Okay, we finish on the 17th, August 17th. So uh, I think the next model will start on the 23rd, August 23rd, I think. Right. So you guys will be free Wednesday and Thursday. And then you have to um, incorporate back to classes on, on Monday the 23rd, I'm pretty sure. All right. All right. Thank and, you. Okay, good. Any other questions or comments, people? No? All right, so how many tenses do we have in English? 12. 12. 12. What is the first tense? Simple present. Simple present. What is the function of the simple present? Just think about things Back. that we used to do. Uh, okay, things that you are used to do. Uh -huh. yeah. Cosas que está acostumbrado a hacer, yes. Uh, information in general. Yeah. Habits, routines. That's the function of the simple present. Yeah. Any questions there? No? Uh, I don't. Okay. All right, good. So when we talk about the simple present, we talk about uh, general information, daily routines, habits, right? 
So what is the question they always make in a job interview? Did what do you do? What do you do? Uh-huh. What else? What is your name? The skills. Okay. Skills. What do you do? What is your name? Can you give me one question to answer those three? I am teaching. Uh huh. What do you mm -hmm. think your is your best skill? Okay, that could be it. What if they ask you, tell me about yourself? Yeah. Okay. My name is Francisco. I'm an English teacher. I can use a computer. I can use Wi Fi, blah, 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 blah. So, with that particular question, tell me about yourself, you answer your abilities, your name, where you live, your profession, your experience, your marital status, and things like that. Yeah. All right, so let me, let me show you uh, uh, an exercise. This here. Hold on, hold on. All right. Okay. So here we have different exercises. These exercises, they need to be corrected. Got it? So, number one, the original text says he go to bed very early. If you say this in a normal conversation, people would understand. There is a possibility they're not going to say anything to you, but grammatically speaking, it's not good. What is the correct form? He goes, he goes. to bed very early. So remember that is the third person singular. If you're making questions, you're supposed to use do or does. When you're using the third person singular, he, she, it, you're supposed to put S to the verb and sometimes ES. Any questions? Questions or comments? No? No, teacher. Okay, let me look for your group. Uh -huh. I one eight to nine. This one here. And here you go with the questions. Give me a second. All right, so I'm sending you the questions, this exercise to the WhatsApp chat. You can take a screenshot right now if you wish, and let me prepare your partner so you can um, work together. Mm -hmm. Go here, create. Okay. Uh -huh -huh. Add a room. Go ahead. Start practicing your fluency and your accuracy. Go ahead. Hello, Mirna.
Hello, Krisha. Hello, teacher. Excuse me, I am alone. Okay, let me move you right now. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Krisha, you were in... Which room is this? I don't see you anywhere. Oh, okay. This room... is... Okay, Rocio is right there with you. Go okay, ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Hi, Rocio. How are you?
Do they, do they usually drive into work? Mm -hmm. Do they? Jenny is not works at a restaurant. Yes. It's called the, the sea, the ocean. Yeah. The color yeah. of the ocean. Mm. Yeah, it's uh blue. Yes, very blue. Yeah. In yeah. fact, in fact, today is my second time that I spoke and that I have spoken with a Republican Dominican. Really? Because for a job uh, in the in this morning, yeah. I I I was talking. That's part. Okay. Mister, are you there? Hello. <laughs> so we have a question. Just yes. What's the question? Very, uh, in the number nine, they mm -hmm. has a lot of free time. Okay. Where we is think, the correct one? Give me a second. Number nine. They we think ha uh -huh. have a lot of free time, or we can say a lot. Yeah, you can say lots. Lots okay. is not the problem. The problem is has. It has, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they you can have. say. So you can say they have lots of time, or okay. if you prefer, you can say they have a lot of time. The okay. two options are good. The two options okay. are good. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Sure. In the 10, do okay. they usually drink? Teacher. Teacher. Uh, teacher. 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 Uh, teacher. Uh, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Numbers, uh, a question is uh, number seven. Okay, let me check number seven. Uh, yes. He know the answer. Yes. Uh, does he know or no? Uh-uh. He know, no. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 he is, is a bird. Okay. No. okay, so what is the correct form? No, is no. in present. Everything is in present. Some are questions, some are negatives. So more positives. What happens? Okay. What happens when you're using he, she, it? What happens to the verb? The verb is a verb. The F. Exactly. So what is the correct form? He knows. He knows. Knows. Oh, okay. okay. With letter okay. S. I read S. If, he, if, if the personal pronoun is he, she, or it, it's necessary that you put S to the verb. Teacher. Yes. Um, a question is class yesterday. You say, okay. you say us that. You told us. You told you us. Told us uh -huh. the, about the conditional con, with. With um, which? Uh huh. When when I use I, the verb was is where. I wish I were in San Francisco. Uh huh. It's in past form. Yes, were. But, but the with I, he, she, I use was. Exactly, but remember that rules in English, they always have exceptions. So when you're talking about wishes, you say, uh, when you talk about wishes, you have to use the simple past tense, observation. When you're talking about wishes, was does not exist. So you use okay. word, you use word for all personal pronouns. Uh, okay, teacher, thank you. I, I have the- Sure, sure, uh -huh. no problem. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good. Okay. Usually to cook. Yes, maybe. I am. Only the construction. No, I am usually cook. To cook. 
All right, all right. Um, any questions about the simple present tense, people? Uh, yes, I, I have a question. Yes, Carlos. <laughs> uh, if I use the auxiliary auxiliary uh, does for for he or uh -huh. she, yeah. Um, what is the the correct? Verb the is stay I, space for. Aha, I, uh -huh, I have I have. Bueno, lo voy a hacer en español. Si yo uso have, el verbo es have como el número seis de que del ejercicio que acabamos de ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, si yo uso el auxiliar das en este caso, el verbo se tiene que usar como have, no como has. Exactly. Exactly. Whenever you're using do or does, the verb will always, always be base form. And there are no exceptions for that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? So let me, let me, uh, sure. yes. Me and uh -huh. the last one uh, my couple and me we have a a question a question about it because uh, he say that is Jenny it's not working at restaurant okay and we are not sure that is it doesn't work a restaurant what is the correct form? Okay, which tense are we practicing? Are we practicing simple present or present continuous? Simple present. Exactly, so the correct That's form it. is Jenny does not work at a restaurant. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Now you can say Jenny is not working at a restaurant. It's a good sentence, but it's not simple present. It's present continuous. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? What is the answer for number two? Uh-huh. Uh, do they live in Canada? Do they live in Canada? What about number three? I'm usually cook dinner for my family. I usually cook dinner for my family. Exactly. I usually cook dinner for my family. What about number four? Do they have a meeting every day? Excellent. Do they have a meeting every week? Every what week? about number five? Excellent. She doesn't like tennis. What about number six? Does John have enough money? Does John have enough money? What about number seven? He knows the answers. Excellent. Excellent. Number eight, Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Robert plays. Robert play. Okay. So what, what is the problem with the word plays? S. Yes. Right. There is no letter E. You only e. add yeah. S. Yes. Robert plays baseball on the weekend. Number nine, they have lots of free time. They have. They have. They have. They have. Someone said teacher? Teacher, number A, uh -huh. the verb play is plays. Only S. Yeah. P L A Y S. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about number 10? Do they usually drive into work? Do they usually drive? They usually Excellent. Drive. Work. Exactly. Very good. And number 11, Jen is not work at a restaurant. Jenny does it. Jenny does work. work at a restaurant. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Congratulations. Okay. Any questions or comments? Yeah, number number eleven is correct. Say Jenny is in work at a restaurant. Let, let me check. Let me check. Uh, Jenny does not work at a restaurant. Or if you want to change the tense, then you can say Jenny is not working at a restaurant. That would be a, a, a second option, but then it's not uh, it's not simple, simple present. Pre it's a present progressive. Okay. It's present progressive, exactly. Teacher, in the number nine, um, uh -huh. in the word lots, uh -huh. I I give the S or or I erase erase the S. Okay, okay. Let me give you an example. Bill Gates has lots of money. Bill Gates has lots of money. That's true. Yeah. Or you can say Bill Gates has a lot of money. So the two options are good. A lot. Uh, a a lot. lot. Yeah. A so lot the two is. options are good. A lot. Okay, a lot. Is there a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have lots of bills to pay. Okay, I understand. <laughs> yeah. I have lots of problems in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. You guys are responding well to the simple present tense. Good. All right, any questions or comments before we change? How do you say arroba in English? Oh. At. At. Mm -hmm. at. At. How do you say uh, guión bajo? Uh -huh. So at this time, at this level, everybody, without any exception, everybody should be able to say your email in English. Let me give you an example. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's mandatory. That, that con is the only that I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, we start with something. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Bien bajo. Uh huh. Okay. Look, that's my email. F C O J Marroquin two eight zero at gmail dot com dot com. Now, guión bajo. Anybody knows how to say guión bajo? Underscore. Underscore. No, underscore. Yes. Guión bajo, you say underscore. How do you say guión? You can say it two forms. Si le enseño ese guión en un correo, ¿cómo sabe si es guión mayor o guión menor? No se puede saber. Right? So you can say dash, dash means guión mayor, hyphen means guión menor. So if your email has guión in it, you can say dash or you can say hyphen. Dash, hyphen. dash or hyphen. hyphen? Dash or hyphen. How do you say punto? Dot. Point. Dot. 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 But someone said point, which is acceptable too. Now, you say dot, you say point, and you say period. Can someone explain the three differences with punto? In Spanish, we say punto com. In Spanish, you say no va a salir y punto. Um, and then you say the uh, uh, period. So when do we use them? That is for. Uh huh. That email. is for email address. Email address. Excellent. That is for email address. What about point? Three point five million dollars. To speak about numbers. 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 If you're talking about numbers, you say point. Point. When do you say period? To finish a sentence. To finish a sentence. A sentence. Exactly. And the police stop the truck. <laughs> period. So in Spanish, punto com. 3.5 y nadie va a salir hoy a la calle. Punto. So we always say punto. So, uh, but English you use them different. How do you say pleca? Slash. 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 Exactly. Is there anything in your email that is not here? Algo que usted ocupa en su correo y no lo hemos mencionado ahorita. Cuando tiene letras mayúsculas. Good. Very say good. That? Ajá. How do you say letra mayúscula in English, people? Perhaps. Capital letter. Uh -huh. Capital nice. letter or uppercase. Usted puede decir capital letter. Or if you prefer, you say uppercase. How do you say minuscula? Lowercase. Excellent. Lowercase. Lowercase. Okay, anybody else? Si su correo lleva el número 19, 24, 58, 63, como sea. Like in my case, my email address is fcojmarroquin280. 280. Cabe la posibilidad de que ese 2, ese 8 y ese 0 vayan escritos con letras. It's possible. It's possible. So 280. Those are numbers. Those are numbers. 
volunteer to tell me your email. Teacher, a, a question? Yes, ask me, please. If the correo, if the number is in letter? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Then how you say, say, okay, how do you say deletrear? So I say FCO J Marroquín y le dice el 280 va escrito con letra. So 2A0 is spelled with letters. Is spelled with letters. Porque si no le dice, le van a poner los nombres. 2A0. So you, you, you clarify. You clarify. What's the meaning of clarify? Uh, clarify. Uh -uh. Clarify. Clarify. It means aclarar. aclarar. Exactly. Good, Isidro. Clarify means aclarar. So you need to clarify. Two A zero are letters, not numbers. Okay. Questions. Teacher. Yes. For the for say um uh, uh symbol of the dollar. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Yes. Do you like the dollar sign? Everybody, yes. every, everybody have, likes it. Everybody. It have some, a lot of digits. Uh, ex side. Excuse me? Yeah. If, if there are a lot of digits, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Digits like a phone number with eight digits. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, questions or comments? Yeah. Teacher, sorry. Yeah, ask how me. You, how do you say arroba? At. Ah, at, sorry. At, yes, at. Please, spell, spell. A-T, A-T. A-T, at. At. Uh-huh. Ok, volunteer, que ponga su correo en el chat y que nos lo diga a todos. Volunteer. Ajá. Mr. Or Mrs. Carranza, go ahead. Rocío. Yes, my email is rc underscore arriaza dot hotmail dot or, no, ha, or no, at. At, at hotmail dot com excellent observation when they dice arriaza when I say marroquín si el que le está dando su correo habla español no hay necesidad de alterar nada Pérez Rodríguez al menos de que esté deletreado de una manera inusual then you have to spell it Okay, thank you. Mauricio Calderón. Good evening. My address e email is M-A-U-C-A-L 81 at yahoo.com. Excellent. Excellent. My email address is F-C-O-J Marroquín 2A0 at gmail.com. Los demás no tienen correo, me imagino. No tienen correo electrónico, ¿verdad? No tienen. Todavía están mandándose telegramas y cosas así. Yes, Krisha. Uh, ok, it's uh, xomelara97 at gmail.com Excellent. Very good. Next one. Ah, es que no tienen correo, se me olvida. Discúlpeme que se me va la... Ajá. Uh -huh. Who wants to practice? Ok, Gustavo. So, uh, I, I didn't listen. 
about the, the names. Okay, like in our case, Gustavo, except okay. si va escrito, digamos, con B grande, porque se dan errores, o, los, yeah. o así los han escrito, usted tiene que aclararlo, porque si no le van a escribir Gustavo con B uh, pequeña. O si digamos Cruz fuera con una S, es responsabilidad de la persona decir Cruz with S. Okay. Or Gustavo with V as in Victor. So, okay. but in your case, it's not. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Gustavo Cruz dot Coreas at gmail dot com. Simple. Simple. Thank you, Gustavo. Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh -huh. Yes, Carmen Maria. Carmen, Carmen. Excuse me. Sure. My email address is C I C A M C A. Uh huh. C A M E M A seven. That. At. Perdón. At. At. Gmail punto com. Punto com. Yes. Are you sure? Punto com or dot com? Dot com. Excuse dot com. Me. Good. That's y fíjese bien, por, that's the reason why you are in class. Porque aquí usted se puede equivocar de hacer errores. Y es, and it's part of the learning process. Porque usted se lo está diciendo a un canadiense, un norteamericano que no habla español, le va a poner a yeah. dot gmail. Y, so, good, very good. ¿Hay de? My email is h a j d e j d j d or y d uh, j y d j or y y one more time please one more time <laughs> y d e e p o l a n c o one two three at G M A A L A I L L point ah uh -uh. no dot, dot com dot, dot com dot com good very good nice recuerde el Gmail Hotmail Yahoo pues toda la gente sabe sabe escribirlo, so esa parte no es necesaria, it's not necessary to spell it. Good, very good. <laughs> Carla, Carla Cortez, please. Yeah, okay, my email address is Pau, but Pau with capital letter, the letter P. Okay. And Cortez say 312 at gmail.com. Excellent. Uh, why did you choose capital P? in your email? Oh, because um, doesn't have any Pau Cortez because there are a lot of Pau. Oh, okay, I understand. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Carlos Dominguez. My aim, my aim, email is CRD uh, to do some 14, uh, 76 at gmail.com. Excellent. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? So do you remember um, when we were studying the aeronautical alphabet? Como voy a decir M de Mary? O N de noviembre. M as in my baby. Okay, good. M as in Mary. N as in Nancy. <laughs> or November. Exactly. Why do you need reference words? Because when you are in a conversation, a telephone conversation, uh, 
you need to specify and be very clear. Did you say Emma in Michael or Anna in Nancy? Emma in Michael, Anna in Nancy. So when people hear the reference name that you're using, people understand better, right? Anybody else? Questions, questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have seven more minutes. I'm going to show you um, this right here. Share screen. Los que no quisieron decir su correo en inglés, hoy no van a dormir bien, ya van a ver. <laughs> van a estar dando vuelta y vuelta. Le hubiera dicho la, mi correo en inglés. Ok, let me see this here. Ya, ya van a ver. Ya van a ver. Todavía tiene tiempo para decirlo. Ay, ay, my correo. Ok, tell me your email address. Ajá. Uh -huh. E E M E N A L A N D A at yahoo.com. Excellent, excellent. Remember, yeah. we have A E I O U. Yes, talk to me. Teacher, excuse me. Yeah. Can you repeat the use of that point um period okay period is when you finish a sentence okay dot is for emails um, and point is for numbers okay thank you teacher. okay all right anybody else Anybody else? For example, all, all um, point for period? Uh, no, point is for numbers. 7.4 okay. million people. Ah, okay. 3.57 cents. If you're talking about numbers, you should say point. Uh -huh. Okay. In when you finish period? a sentence, when you finish a sentence, you say period. Period. O cuando usted está discutiendo con alguien, le dice, y ya no vamos a hablar, y punto. We're not talking anymore, period. So, okay. nothing more. Nothing more. Thank you, Dick. Sure. Any other questions or comments, people? Teacher. Yeah. If I want to practice the alphabet letter, I don't know what is the name. Uh -huh. and how can I put in the Google alphabet? Uh, alphabet. What is the exact name? Okay, there are there are different exercises when you're practicing the alphabet. They usually come with listening. So pay attention to the lady's name. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. How do you spell Elizabeth? Y ahí en el audio le deletrean el, el Elizabeth. So all you need to do, go to Google and put spelling exercises. And mm -hmm. le va a aparecer un gran menú de todas las cosas que puede hacer con el spelling. Ah, okay. Yep. All right. Any, anything else? Any other questions or comments, people? Yes. No? Okay, I was going to do one last activity, but we only have two more minutes. So if you don't have any questions or comments, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. No,